Hi guys, so I'm going to do a video um, on Content Analyzer on SEMrush. Um, so I've done a webinar today with SEMrush, but due to people not being able to see the screen size properly, we're not going to be doing a live demo on the webinar itself. We'll be using slides, but I've also created a video for you as well so that you can work through the video if you prefer to use that method. Um, so the tool in question today is going to be the Content Analyzer tool. So where you'll find Content Analyzer is under projects. So if you create a project for your website, whether you're doing a site audit or any of the other stuff, you will find the Content Analyzer down here in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to open up Content Analyzer. Now, normally what happens is you'll have a couple of big green buttons around about this position here, which will say add your analytics and add your search console access. You do want to make sure that you add those purely so that you can get all this kind of data as accurate as you possibly can. So integrate analytics and search console into your SEMrush account and it will give you all of this kind of data. So what does Content Analyzer do? So this is a tool where you can analyze the content on your website and allow you to be able to manage, quickly overview what might need updated or what's kind of weak in terms of content and stuff like that. So it's quite a good tool. What you do is you um, add your website and then the tool will scan your website, all your URLs from your sitemap and everything else, and it will then feed you back this information here. So what you've got the potential to do here is first and foremost is using the filters. So the filters are key in, in my opinion. So for example, if I want to look at articles that are, um, you know, 500 words minimum long, um, then if I put that filter in and apply filter, it's going to show me all the URLs that have words fr from at least 500 um, and above. But you can also, with that filter, you know, put 500 here. Um, for example, and there'll be no more than 500 words on that page. And that's something I may want to improve upon. I may want to get more content put in that page or whatever it may be. So you can use your filters to do that and quickly get to the root of the kind of weak content that's on your website. You can also, um, if you've got different subfolders and stuff here, filter all that down. You can also filter it down on sessions, page views. And if you click advanced filters here, you can also filter it down to shares, backlinks, bounce rate, search queries, content update, status code, and tags. So we'll go into tags later, but the rest of these are all self-explanatory and you can create your own filters if you want. So if I want to potentially repurpose content that got more than 10 shares, then you know that gives me that data right there um, and I can go and deal with that. Now, Below this, so first before I jump on, you can save a filter. So if you have a, a normal process that you may want to update um, content that's got 500 words or less and they've had 10 or more shares, you know, that might be a good starting point for you and you may want to, you know, filter all that down and work on this first and foremost. So you can save that filter there and call it whatever you want. And every time you go in there, you can continue to use that filter, but you can mess about with the filters as you please. Now, below here, it gives you a whole heap of information, the URL um, and, and various other parts here, all these kind of columns are all listed here. So you may or may not want to use some of the stuff that's on here. So for example, if I don't want to really bother with the meta descriptions, if I untick that, you'll see over on the right hand side that meta descriptions uh, disappears. If I also click H1, you'll see that the H1 is just about to disappear now. Author might not be of interest either, um, but then you know I may want to look at words, shares and backlinks as, long, as well as the title tags. So that may be the only things that I'm interested in looking at. So I can have a look at this and deal with it accordingly. So you can manage the columns yourself. Now, that's all easy to do. Now, what you can also do is add tag yourself. So you can manually go through this and say, poor content. Um, so you can add tags and you can also filter down um, 
on the custom columns and stuff as well. So if you want to only focus on stuff that you've maybe tagged as pure content, then you can also do that too. Um, so this basically, as I say, is, is an overview of what you can do, how many shares you've got, and it gives you, you can quickly drill down into your potentially weakest content on your website and try and address that and build on that. You know, no one has the perfect amount of content on their website, so we do want to improve it all the time. And there's nothing wrong with getting into a post and adding to it and making it better, adding a video or whatever it may be. Um, and it's obviously the bigger the website, the harder it is for you to establish what content we can watch not. But the fact that SEMrush have the content analyzer here allows you to drill that down very quickly, um, which is good. Now, what is also quite good on here um, is obviously, as I say, you can create your own columns, you can you know do whatever you want, um, but you can also um, what the fuck. So what you can do um, here is if you click on a particular URL, it gives you the ability to add a tag up here. Um, you can have a look at the content and you may want to um, potentially suggest, you know, that it gets rewritten or whatever. So you can give people tasks. So you could say, rewrite the whole blog post, rewrite. Um, so I can add that as a task, um, and obviously, if someone, if I'm giving these tasks to myself, I can obviously mark that as it's done, so it goes with a score through it. But I can also send these tasks to Trello, and you can also send them to Google Calendar if you're going to send these tasks to a member of your team. Um, so you can do that. You can also sit, type notes, and you can also invite members of your team to to be able to go into. The content analyzer tool just put their email address in there and allow that person to come in and collaborate on your projects so you can basically go through your content here and you can see that's a header one and you know you can scroll down and see what you might want to change on that particular um, task but you can also add tags here you may say perfect or, or tag it up with whatever you want basically um, so you can go through that and work your way through all of your URLs so you can just get this tab up if this is what you want to work with it will show you the sessions um so you can see that when obviously when i put the, the this particular post out it got some traction for a few days and now it's kind of dead it was kind of a small news story with a bug um on the google map listings but you can see it's kind of dying away but it's you know it's had some shares and had some sessions and and that's it so but what, what I could do is, is add to that, change it, you know, republish it, get it shared on social media again, and you'll see all of these URLs will all have different metrics based on your analytics. So you can scroll through your URLs and see what kind of traction some of these get. Um, you know, WordPress training courses is another blog post I've got, and it gets kind of steady traffic. It's not something that goes up and down in a massively big basis, but... As I say, other other articles go up and down um, like a yo-yo, um, depending on when you share them and stuff as well. So you do want to, you know, look at this and you can also have a look at the kind of metrics um, that are going on there and make a choice as to whether um, you want to improve that or do something with it. You can also click here and it's got the top five search queries. Um, and, and your position as well for every URL. So it's quite a cool um, feature and it allows me to see that, you know, this particular um, article, you know, doesn't have any great ranking, so I would probably want to do something with it. Um, no real traffic. So, you know, there's work to be done here. So I can then assign that task, put some notes on here saying, you know, I'm not happy with it. It doesn't really rank for anything or you know it's sat in position the average position of 30 um, and you know that allows me to store that note and uh, i will then get someone to to deal with that or delete it or redirect it or whatever it may be um, to to make sure that 
you know, every post on my website is offering value, essentially. Um, that's what I would like to do long term, as I'm sure most of you would. So you can assign tasks and everything else there as well. Um, <coughs> so that's a basic overview of that part of the tool. Now they've got a little part here, content sets. Um, so we'll say, um, you know, content that's older than 24 months, um, you know, and it, it's got 8% of my, you know, it's got 12 URLs there, um, stuff that needs to be updated, quick review, content update in the last six months, poor content. You know, what Sam Rush will determine is poor content is words up to 200. And, you know, I've got a few blog posts on there that are not so good. Um, so, yeah, you you do want to, to make sure that you use content sets accordingly. And, and obviously that will flag up um, anything that you potentially should be analysing. You've also got this other part here on Content Analyzer, which is called Post Tracking. Now, I've used SEMrush um, as an example here because what you can do is analyze posts of either your own website or your competitors. So if you see a great blog post and you want to see how it's going, what backlinks it's getting, estimated reach, keywords that it ranks for, social shares, then you can put that in. So I've, I've used um, a, a post from SEMrush, which was, we have the lovely Olga, Adrienko there, winning at the same Rush Nordic Awards. Um, so there's a blog post here, just get on about um, the same Rush Nordic Awards and you know people can enter um, this particular award ceremony and, and all that kind of stuff. And obviously it's promoting a webinar, um, but I can analyze that content and see what kind of traction it got. And you can do that with you know any number of um, blog posts or whatever and whether they're coming from your competition or your own website you can do that and you can obviously add tags and stuff like that as well um and you can add keywords and stuff like that in here and you know drill it all down so you can also search by url or title if you do have a whole bunch in there and you want to, to have a look at that but again they've also got filters here authors here that you can filter it all down by tags referral traffic or estimated reach. So if you have, you know, 500 blog posts that you're watching over a period of time, you know, you can certainly filter that down by your favorite author or or maybe the one that's getting the most kind of referral traffic and whatnot. Um, so, you know, that is the content analyzer tool. In a nutshell, I don't want to go into the ins and outs because we do have an expert on the blog, eh, on the actual webinar who will be showing us exactly how he uses the tool. But the content analyzer certainly does help you establish good and bad content on your website. Very simple and easy to use and something that, you know, I think a lot of people should start implementing into their strategy. There's nothing better than using tools and, you know, even if you want to report to a client that you're doing stuff or they've got poor content or whatever, it helps you, you know, educate the client or, or talk them round into, you know, if they're asking you, what, what are you doing, what are you doing? You can say, listen, you've got a whole bunch of, you know, uh, bad content on there that maybe needs repurposed um, and you can, you know, give them some something that, you know, they can hold you accountable for. So great tool and hopefully that gives you a good overview as to how it all works.